Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my intimate shaving routine from front to back. So I'm going to be covering how I shave my downstairs area as well as my behind to make sure I have no razor bumps, no ingrowns, no itchiness, any pain. And this routine also helps to lighten up any hyperpigmentation that may be going on downstairs. So with that being said, I'm not gonna hold you guys up any longer. Let's hop straight into my personal routine. And no, this is not a routine that I looked up and copied and decided to just go ahead and put on my channel. No, girl. I have tried so many different routines until I finally just came up with my own. And this is the routine that saved your girl, okay? Because your girl got tired of always being in pain, walking and hurting, having so much itchiness and pain and always having razor bumps and ingrowns that left these crazy scars. Or the more I shaved, the more hyperpigmentation I was experiencing. So over time, I made my own routine. And when I tell y'all this routine is popping, I have had so many people reach out to me and thank me. But I wanted to go ahead and make another video of this routine just in case anybody missed it or they just wanted an updated video just to go ahead and like, you know, have like a new video. Um, if that even makes sense. I don't know. I'm just making it again because hey, might as well. I do have two up on my channel. I think they're a little bit different, but I'm not really sure. One of them is at a million views. So guys, thank you so much. And the other one, I think I made it like two years ago. So girl, it's about time for me to go ahead and update you guys. I know I said I wasn't gonna hold y'all up no longer, but y'all know I'll be talking. I'll just be talking. And no, I did not get my lashes done. I am obsessed with eyelashes. If you don't know, like if you're not subscribed to my channel, I have gotten eyelash extension since I was like 15 and I have not stopped I'm now 20. I took like a little break for a minute but girl ever since I started getting them back done like for the last two years girl I've had straight lash extensions you have not seen me without eyelashes well I recently moved and so my lash tech ain't out here and I can't drive you know that long to be getting my lashes done so you know what I decided to go ahead and just start like experimenting with lash strips and like individuals like lash clusters and I came up with these yesterday. Definitely stay tuned because I do vlogs like here and there. And I wanna go ahead and share with you guys how I did these lashes and they look like lash extensions on one of my upcoming vlogs. So stay tuned, cause girl, I'm getting better at making my eyelashes look like lash extensions. Like that is so dope. Now with that being said, girl, let's hop into this routine, okay? First things first, I always wait until the very end of my shower to shave. It softens up the hair and it gives you an all over better shave and you will have way better results. Now, if your hair is super long, like you've been growing it out for a minute, girl, trust me, I understand because there's just times where I just go months without shaving and then I don't know where I just wanna start shaving. Maybe I'm the only one, I don't know. Did I just expose my Myself, I'm not really sure but listen if your hair is super long or if you are like a beginner shaver and you never shaved before what you want to do is you want to go ahead and trim that hair down trim it with scissors be very careful take your time girl the key in this entire video the key to this entire routine is to take your time do not rush when it comes down to your lady bits you got to be very gentle and you have to take your time but if your hair is super long you want to go ahead and trim that down with scissors because it's just going to dull your razor and a dull razor is going to cut you like if you're just going over all that hair all that hair all that hair it's going to take a minute and it's going to dull your razor and a dull razor girl you are asking for trouble. It can cut you, it can lead to razor bumps, irritation, pain, ingrowns, just all of that. So make sure you are changing out your razor head. I usually change mine out like every three to four uses. Now let's hop into like the actual routine in the shower. Okay, so first things first, exfoliation. Girl, I can't tell you how many years I went not exfoliating before I shaved. Just asking for trouble at this point. Now, Google explained it better. You exfoliate to remove the top layer of dead skin. Without proper exfoliation, and I will go ahead and get into proper exfoliation, the older skin cells, as well as the debris that come with them, can trap in bacteria by blocking the pores. This leads to ingrown hairs, rashes, irritation, and sometimes even odor or infection. Exfoliating your downstairs area is is important okay it is important there are so many things that can come out of not exfoliating your downstairs area now i only suggest to exfoliate two to three times a week if you're super sensitive like how i am i would say twice a week okay but let's get into proper exfoliation okay girl nobody scrubs nobody scrubs it's not going to give you an 
even exfoliation like it's not those little granules it's not going to give you an all over even scrub okay and a lot of those scrubs have sugar in it and sugar should go nowhere near your downstairs area because that can lead to infection okay so exfoliating gloves now mind you i'm gonna go ahead and link down below my amazon storefront i am going to make a specific little area on my amazon storefront you'll see it when you click on it and it's going to say intimate shaving products i am going to put all of these products in that category in that group so if you want easy access to these products i'm gonna go ahead and link everything down below in that amazon storefront just click on that you know intimate shaving little area and girl you got yourself all these products okay but exfoliating gloves this is proper exfoliation now you don't just want to go in with the exfoliating gloves you want to have a good soap and we all know you can't just be using any soap downstairs so the one i suggest is the baby dove sensitive skincare hypoallergenic wash my dogs like why can't i just win um baby dove now you can use this or you can also use like the dove sensitive bar the non-scented fragrance free bar that is also a very good option like a very good product to use as well um but i just go ahead and i use my baby dove wash okay and i get a good amount of soap on there i think it's important to have a rich lather just so that this isn't too too abrasive but it's still properly exfoliating you so i get like five pumps you can do less if you want and this is what that baby dove looks like so this is the bottle i get my soap in there rub it back and forth and i always prop a leg up on the side of the shower i have like a little like bench area right there i just prop my leg up on the side of the shower and it gives me way more access to my downstairs area now you are not exfoliating the inside girl no you will be toe up from the flow up okay you are just doing the external skin where the hair grows you got your leg up on the side of the shower you have more access make sure you are exfoliating in the side creases make sure all of that the side of the leg where the hair grows the top the belly where the hair grows everywhere the hair is growing exfoliate i would say for like 20 to 30 seconds whatever works for you i don't really time it so i can't really tell you how long i exfoliate you don't want to do it too long because girl you can really hurt yourself um but i would do that each and every time when you are shaving exfoliate and let's say you only shave once a week it's up to you how much you want to shave let's say you only shave once a week then make sure that in between you are still exfoliating at least twice a week now you are all exfoliated now we're going to get into what kind of shave creams do you want to go ahead and use so this is the one that i would personally suggest for like everybody because it's safe it is fragrance free it gets a beautiful lather which is awesome because it makes sure that you have like more cushion in between that razor y'all know i talk about that all the time okay i don't like just razor to skin i like to have good cushion in between just for less irritation and the irritation leads to all those razor bumps and all of the extra okay so i get my fresh razor i'm freshly exfoliated i get some of this now i'm very generous with this this is the gillette venus two-in-one cleanser and shave gel remind you everything will be up in that little um area in my amazon storefront so this is that two-in-one cleanser and shave gel i've never used it as a cleanser but this stuff has never irritated me never in life and this is specifically designed for our pubic hair this is top tier it has no fragrance it gets a beautiful lather it's super rich and thick which is even better for this routine so i get a good amount i'm very generous i don't like to use just a little bit because my results are just that much better when i'm generous with my product so i get a good amount on my hand i rub my hands back and forth and i put it everywhere that the hair grows okay even on that little belly now i am discussing my downstairs area shaving routine before my behind because they're separate and i always wait for my behind last so yeah get a good amount of this be generous Put it all down there you'll see it gets pretty darn soapy and then you can begin shaving now if you don't want to go ahead and use this this is another one that i do suggest i'm not the biggest fan of the name but um and i'm not gonna say it i just feel like it's a little bit raunchy that's that's me you know you, you do what you gotta do but it's just this um it's on my amazon storefront but this is the bottle you guys so you can identify this by the bottle but this stuff works very well as well now this doesn't get foamy this is a cream um and it's in the scent sweet bliss if you are extremely sensitive don't even do it because this does have fragrance it's up to you but this is just another product that i do use here and there it works very well personally you know if it came down to it i would just buy this one because the product just lasts longer i feel like and it's just it's more safe and it's you know 
It's that girl. So I distribute that everywhere. Then I go in with my razor. Now this is, do I show it up close? Cause I'm pretty sure it has hair on it. But um, this is the matching Gillette Venus pubic hair and skin razor. This is designed for your pubic areas. Gillette, they are the OGs for coming out with this because there has never been a razor this amazing for shaving. I have like the most sensitive underarms in the world. They hurt so bad if I shave with the wrong razor. In my downstairs area, I'm so prone to razor bumps and ingrowns and just, all, and just like all the irritation. And this, this freaking combo has saved my life, you guys. Okay, but let's talk about the correct way to shave your downstairs area. Also, make sure that when you get done exfoliating with the Baby Dove, of course, go ahead and rinse off and then apply the shave gel. But naturally, you would think that you would shape up. So I'm gonna use this as like an example of my downstairs area. Naturally, you would think that you're gonna go ahead and shave up. Like that's where the mind goes. But um, no, actually, that that's actually the worst way to do it because the hair grows down and in like inwards and when you go against the direction of where the hair is growing girl does it lead to a mess you want to go ahead and shave down shave down slowly slowly especially when you're going down to like the lips you want to be even more slow because those are even more sensitive so let's say these are my legs and this is my downstairs area i shave down slowly to get a little bit more of a smoother shave i do go diagonally both ways now if you are going to go across like side to side for an even smoother shave you have to do that extremely slow like just very slow like not even like this i would just slowly go like that slowly go like that when you're going side to side that is against the direction of like the hair growth so if you are going to do that make sure you're doing it the way that i said but also make sure there is a very nice coat of that shave gel like a nice thick coat because that is also going to protect your skin from any irritation that leads to all of the things we don't want now for like your bikini line like in between your legs so like in between your legs you want to shave in and not out because you are going to be in so much pain so in and not out so so far down and then i kind of go like diagonally and then if I'm going to go side to side, I have to do that like super slow. And then in between like the creases of your legs, like where your bikini line is, you want to shave in and not out. I also go down very, very slowly because that is like one of the most sensitive parts ever. Now listen, throughout all of that, you want to make sure there is a generous amount of shave gel. So you're gonna have to honestly keep reapplying it because that water from the razor, cause you obviously want a wet razor and you obviously in between, you wanna go ahead and rinse the hair off and start again. The water that is on that razor is gonna go ahead and kind of like wash away the shave gel. But you always need to have a good shave, like a coat of shave gel everywhere you're shaving. So if it's coming off, apply more. If it's coming off, apply more. And all throughout that, make sure you are rinsing off your razor in the shower and applying more shave gel wherever you are shaving. So always shave down. That is the safest way to go. You can't just do that standing up straight. You're gonna have to either go ahead and squat, which sometimes I do. I squat all the way to the bottom of the shower and I have more access that way. Or I will prop my leg up on the side of the shower. Whichever leg needs to be propped up, you can reposition yourself so that you have more access because you obviously cannot do that just standing straight up. You gotta have more access. And that's in cleaning your downstairs area, shaving, exfoliating, everything sorry about the camera angle it just keeps changing you guys i've been having to do stuff in between this video but now we know you don't want to shave up stop shaving up and stop just using any razors downstairs stop just using any products downstairs the products that i am suggesting in today's video are like required like these products will save you no joke you have to use these products especially if you're super sensitive and prone to all of the craziness you gotta use these dang products y'all like i can't use anything else like no. Also, with the hair that kind of grows in the inside of the lips, not completely in there, but it's like a little bit, just spread open your downstairs area and lightly and gently go down. You never want to shave up or anywhere else, out, up, whatever the heck, only down. And then let me draw this out. Let's say this is your downstairs area. You know how these would be your lips? 
right here at that curve i take the razor and gently go around there i gently go around gently go around gently go around gently go around and of course you'll have to open up for that as well because it can nip you if you don't okay i'm trying to get everything out of the way because girl i don't want no issues okay i don't want y'all to have no issues okay so now that our downstairs area is all shaved we're gonna move on to our behind now when i shave my behind i squat all the way down like I have to, like I have to have complete access. I squat all the way down. Let's say this is your behind. It's very common for people to shave down or up, just in a straight line, just in a straight line. The best way is to shave inwards, not outwards, inwards towards your actual like butthole, inwards and gently. So you do everything that you've done to your downstairs area to your behind. So you go ahead and exfoliate. You don't wanna exfoliate the actual like butthole like the skin in there it's just the parts that you're going to be shaving just where the hair grows you're going to go ahead and exfoliate all of that you're going to use the same exact shaving products same exact razor except for obviously it's a different routine i always squat all the way down and i shave in words and i do it very 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 slow now it gets a little bit more dangerous when you're going up because there's not much space up there that's where i just gently go down a little bit I just gently go down you know like let's say this is your butt at the very top where it's coming to an end and it's going up to your back you can gently go down a little bit because trying to go in that way uh that's a little bit dangerous but everywhere else you need to slowly go in go in go in not up not down not out but in very carefully make sure there's a good amount of shade gel you know back there now everything is shaved it is smooth from exfoliation now we can go ahead and hop out of the shower and begin the aftercare this is where people may be like girl what like what are you talking about who told you that that's a good idea girl this is what i've done it made sense in my mind so i did it and girl i haven't had a problem ever since i don't have any problem any issue wearing a swimsuit and feeling like oh my god like can people see this like no like Girl, I have no issues anymore. Like this is, I'm telling you, if you don't try it, um, that's on you. That's on you. Okay, so first things first, my holy grail, tanned skin. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a little bit pricey, but this is my junk. Cannot go without it, cannot. And I'm gonna show you guys how I apply it. So girl, you get to tan skin. You're fresh out of the shower. Always go ahead and dry up with a paper towel. Dry the inside, the outside, dry your behind with paper towel, and now we are all set to start using tan skin. I'm gonna stand up on my chair real fast so I can just show you guys how I do this. With this product, you guys, you do not want this ever to go inside your downstairs area, ever. It needs to stay external because this stuff has alcohol in it and so many different chemicals that you just do not want in your downstairs area. So I cut my hand and I cup it at like where the entrance of my downstairs area may start. Like I cup it right here and I pour a good amount of tan skin right Right here and it falls into my hand and then I use that and I pick it up kind of and I just kind of go back and forth back and forth and apply it everywhere it needs to go cup 10 skin 10 skin you got it you rub it you rub it this may not burn the first day that you shave but the second day that you go ahead and apply this stuff it will burn a little bit but girl it is doing the job okay so I apply my 10 skin um some people like to apply it with like cotton rounds I personally just don't like it just because I don't want any cotton getting down there and each and every time I use it with like cotton swabs or cotton rounds it does leave um cotton and stuff down there so that's just my way of applying 10 skin they have roller balls if you like that but I personally just like like to use it that way it gets thoroughly everywhere that I've shaved and yeah for my behind I put it in my hand I kind of rub it back and forth just a little bit and I just apply it everywhere that I shave you can tap or you can rub it is completely up to you but just apply it where you have shaved where the hair you know grows now that that's done this is the last step this is the very last step this is Neosporin yes it is Neosporin and this is vitamin E oil these right here okay if you don't have a good moisturizer for after you get done shaving irritation irritation and you know what in my mind it just made sense to use neosporin it just made sense to use neosporin for any pain or any irritation that may occur so i tried it i put neosporin in my hand i got my vitamin e oil because vitamin e oil helps to lift any scars or hyperpigmentation so what's going to help like i said earlier that this routine helps with like darkness and hyperpigmentation what in this routine is doing that is the exfoliation and then this combo this combo right here because neosporin also helps with scars this combo right here 
It's gonna get you right. No razor bumps, no ingrown. It's gonna lift any darkness you may have. Any itchiness or irritation or pain, girl, it's a no-go with this combo. So I get Neosporin in my hand, I get a good amount, and then I get some vitamin E oil, okay? I mix it together. Yes, I have my bracelets on. That's probably the noise y'all been hearing, or it is the noise y'all been hearing. I mix it together, and I apply it everywhere that I've shaved, including my, my behind. I apply it everywhere that I've shaved, everywhere that I've shaved. And that mixture... I can't tell y'all how many people have reached out to me telling me I would have never thought that would be something I would ever use even near my downstairs area. But it's the only thing that's worked. Like it's the only thing. This is what I will say though. I don't suggest exfoliating and then going out to sunbathe. If you're not going to be reapplying sunscreen and sunscreen where the skin is exposed and you're sunbathing, it's going to make it even darker because now your skin is more sensitive to the sun because you've exfoliated it. And then going out in your bikini to try to like tan and stuff like that is going to make it that much worse. So don't just exfoliate and then go out in the sun to sunbathe. Don't do that. And that applies for all over your body, your underarms, your face, your body. SPF is very important to make sure that scars don't get darker. Hyperpigmentation doesn't get darker. That is just something I'm going to go ahead and say because I know some people are making that mistake. It's fully and then going out to sunbathe and you know your bikini area is exposed and it's sensitive and now it's going to get darker if you understand what I'm saying. So get a good SPF to keep reapplying because sunscreen you know wears off and only lasts so long. So if it affects your tan, who gives a crap? I would rather have an uneven tan than to have to deal with all this darkness. And no, we're not Barbies, so our skin complexion down there is not going to be the same that's on our skin, like our regular skin. And no, it's not. It's not. It's going to be different. It's going to be a little bit darker. That's okay. I'm just talking about if you want to work on it and lighten it up a little bit, hey, this routine is awesome. But no, we are not Barbie dolls. We are not brass dolls, whatever the heck, girl. We are human beings, okay? So our complexion down there is not going to be the same. It's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be smooth as all get out. Just like your underarms. It is what it is. We are human beings. We are women. Okay, so understand that as well. After you get done applying those products downstairs, you're good to go. And I personally repeat that routine, like the 10 skin routine, the Neosporin and vitamin E. I still repeat that days after I shave. So I don't just do that the day of shaving. I do repeat that the days after. And with that being said, that completes today's video. That completes my whole intimate shaving routine from front to back. I really suggest you try this routine. I have not switched up on my routine because girl, if it's not broke, don't even try to fix it. No, nope. so you know, that's just what I do. Okay, and this is the only routine that has worked for me. I mean, don't get me wrong. Maybe I will in like the future, the near future, I don't know, try out some different products that are like new on the market and see how they work and stuff like that. But this routine is just my junk, okay? It, it has helped me so much with every problem I have ever had in my shaving routine. I didn't even want to shave because, you know, every single time I did it, it just made things 10 times worse. I don't have to worry anymore that, you know, the next day after I get done shaving, I'm going to wake up all of this irritation, all of these bumps, you know, I don't have have to worry about that anymore I can confidently do this routine and be straight okay so I really suggest it for anybody that is struggling getting down a good down pat routine in a good working routine now with that being said I hope that you guys go ahead and try out this routine I hope you guys enjoy this video and most of all I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day God bless you all in Jesus mighty name and it's time for your girl to go bye guys